All right, uh, hello, welcome back to Doozer Shop. Um, I got in the mail today uh, an eBay item I purchased. Um, it's called a quick knurling tool, and it's a cut knurler, cut knurler, cut knurl, cut, cut knurling tool made in Austria. I've seen it made in Switzerland. Uh, this was an eBay purchase. It was like 35 bucks. And these things are like two, three hundred most times on eBay. I've seen them for four, five, six hundred brand new. So I thought it was a good score. Um, I got it over here in the Sagami lathe, uh, mounted right up. It's got a half inch uh, thick tool shank. Um, it fit right in my uh, my holder there. Um, I had a spare one. So. Got my new camera, and I got the camera on a Sterrett magnetic base, so that's the trick. Um, let me try and set you up. Well, let me give you a, uh, a close-up of the, the quick cut knurl tool. And then we'll do some... We'll try some knurling. I haven't tried it at all yet. Um, so if it's a flop or, you know, if I get my... Uh, my little strings here from my hoodie caught in the lathe. You'll see it here. I mean, this is unedited. This is right. Let's let let me show you what I got. Okay. All right. All right. Come on. All right. So, well, yeah. You guys know this is a Sagami lathe. Um, all right. Let me kind of. There it is. And. Well, it'd be nice to see it from the front, you see. Um, it's got, all right, it's got two wheels. They're straight wheels, but they're on an angle, so they do make a diamond pattern. All right, um, this here, it, uh, you adjust it, and I think this is for your, uh, your diameter. These two are just to control the float up and down. You can leave them loose so you can tighten them when you center it. I centered it already. Um, let me see here if I can show you. Let's see if I can. I don't know if you can see. See how they kind of cam back and forth. And they say you want to, you get a little scratch pass going and make a an alignment. Um, you want the knurls to be even all the way across. You don't want it to be heavy on one side. So, let's see. If you, uh, I don't know if that's coming in. You're supposed to put it on, so that's about 5 eighths bar. Half inch, 3 quarters, like 5 eighths. Yeah, can't see. All right. So, I think that's right. That's about 5 eighths. It's in the three jaw chuck. Let me kind of put the magnet down here and turn the base on okay Ooh, yeah killer all right so that's let me flip the camera all right yeah all right um let me uh turn the lathe on it's on real slow rpm like 300 and let's play with it let's see what it'll do um here we go So, you come in, I guess, let's begin, you know, at the beginning, right? So it says not to uh, run it off the end. You know, hold on a sec. Vibrating. I got a piece of tin, lean it up against the lathe like a tin cover. All right, that was annoying. Maybe I'll edit that out. Maybe I won't. I don't know. All right, all right, all right. Now let me come in until I touch very carefully. Ooh. All right, 
And actually, I must be very close because it's it's pretty good. It's not double tracking. Let me try and uh, I don't know if it's gonna work. Well, let me go lower. Let me turn the light. Maybe that's better. I don't know. Oh dear. All right, no. This autofocus, I don't know what this is. Let me go a little bit. Well. Okay. You know, the shaft is like, it's got some silver paint on it. Alright. Alright. Well, anyways, at least you can see the graduations pretty well. Let me just knurl with it. All right, you crank in a little bit more. Oh yeah, all right. Um, crank in a little bit more. I'm not, I'm not cranking that much on the crossfeed. It's fairly easy. It's not like a regular you know, pressure knurling tool. Let me go a little deeper. You know, I'm gonna put a little uh, black molly on these uh, wheelies just to make sure that they're lubricated. That's molybdenum disulfide oil. All right, let's put the power feed on. You crank it up. Let me stop it. Dude. That's pretty stellar. That's a beautiful looking neural. Um me just I don't want to get near That's pretty cool. Let me go uh, continue with the uh, power feedery. All right. All right. See, this is steel. This is like. 1018 steel. Uh, let me turn it on. Let me crank it in a scotch more and reverse it. All right, let me give it a little bit more. Let me hit reverse and engage. Engage. Pretty cool. I'm not gonna let it go off the edge. Maybe this is better with the light. Maybe, I don't know. I'm trying to, all right, I'm gonna revert, uh, take out the, uh, um, all right, retract. That's pretty stellar. Um, kinda, all right, let me go handheld. All right. Flip the. Uh, all right. There. Pretty cool. Yeah. Oop. Yeah. Nice. And 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 that was. Uh, yeah, I don't even know where focus is on this. I just know where zoom is. Let me try, uh, well, anyways, so that's cool. That's just like, man, I, you know, it's going to try to focus on my hand. All right. That's about as easy of a time I've ever had knurling anything. I mean, that's just stellar. 35 bucks, and I think it was 8 bucks shipping.
So, all right, yeah, so quick knurling tool. I wonder if the numbers are on it. Hold on, let me back it. All right. If I can get it. Uh, quick. What does it say? O V K F. I don't know if this is. Hold on. Maybe. I don't know. Quick. And then. Oh, you guys probably hate. Okay, there we go. Miller. Innsbruck. Miller Innsbruck. Cool. Alright. Oop. Alright. You guys are going to hate me. I guess it's trying to autofocus. It, yeah, it does. It autofocuses. Alright. So anyways, that's that. Um, like I say, this knob and, and below it just controls the float. But I'm pretty happy with that. Mm, come on. All right, that's about as good as you get. I'm liking that. Cool. All right, so that's that. All right, uh, let me zoom all the way up. You always go the wrong way. All right, so that's on the Sagami lathe. Uh, knurling. Um, let me see here. Let me show you guys the uh, We're on the magnet, I think we're on the magnet, okay. We're still rolling? Yeah, we're rolling. Alright. So, so this, this is the turret, and I want to show you, there's a lever here, okay, this lever, and you pull it, and you release it, and it indexes to the next. And what you do for the, uh, well, yeah, you can see, the drill chuck is you wind this all the way in, and, th and there's a stop in the back. Yeah, I know, real exciting. All right, so there's a stop there. Now this um, drill, is, is on center with anything you got in the in the, in the lathe. So that's how that works, so you can drill and then you, you know, move it, whatever. Okay, so that's that. Um, so then you got, I'll just go through it. Boring bar, another boring bar, um, a real close uh, uh, chamfering bit, this is a regular turning bit. And uh, so, just so you guys know, this is it. ECI, ECI. These are adjustable. See how it's got a dovetail and you can adjust the height? Like a normal, this is a Harding mount. You can't adjust the height of that. You either gotta shim it or whatever, um, which feeler gauges. These are set up for, uh, Three eighths, no. I think they're set up for half inch tools, and that's that I got adjusted for half or three eighths, but it's three eighths. Now, um, so the drill chuck, so that these are this is five five eighths tooling, and I got a little five eighths stub shank. So this is my cut off uh, tool, carbide braze. I think this is a this is a micro one hundred made for a Swiss lathe. Um, there again, this ECI. I don't know who that stands for, but they're, they're just jam up holders, you know. But that's how this turret um, part works uh, on this lathe. And uh, you guys see my piston video. Some people were asking, you know, how does this lathe uh, turret thing work? And that's basically it. You know, it's, uh, you set your tools. It's made for production, but, you know, whatever. Um, so anyways, uh, 
All right. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed the video from Doozer's Shop.